should put this up. Training on the go. Yeah, really bad, noisy training on the go. That's okay. We'll call it that. Really bad, noisy training on the go. Yeah. And what we talk about is the four fields have five skills people have to master. The first one is enough bravery to start talking about Jesus. But we can make it easier if we give them a friendly, simple way to start talking about Jesus. We can talk about Shema statements or sharing your testimony or thousands of things that can help you have a little bit of bravery to share the gospel. The second thing would be uh, sharing Jesus in a way they understand. I have to have either a series of Bible studies or a creation to Christ story or some way that I can actually share with people what is a Christian. And many people struggle with that and they don't feel very confident uh, to have that skill. How do I share Jesus? How do I start talking? How do I share Jesus? The second would be, how do I disciple people? Because we use that word discipleship, but it's a scary word. It sounds like there's a lot of information. But we break it down into Bible study after Bible study. Can we start attending a Bible study where we learn a little bit of the kingdom of God every week? And am I feeling like I have the gifting or the spiritual gift to lead Bible studies? Many people don't feel like they have that gifting. They don't think they're a good discipler. We're going to simplify that word in the Bible study. The fourth would be, am I a teacher? Um, can I impart to everybody how and why we do things? And so can I help you be a leader? And um, uh, that's a big first step because many people say, oh, I'm just a follower. I would just rather follow you. You're the teacher. And so that's a big step. People often don't feel like they're a teacher of others. The fifth one would be, am I able to help other people see that they're actually a leader of other leaders, not just of followers? Then I'm going to teach you how to share your faith with others or how to do all these things yourself and not just be your teacher myself. But I want you to become a teacher of teachers. And so that's where we talk about training for trainers because um, I want to not just train you to be a leader, I want to teach you to be a teacher of others. But that is a spiritual gifting some people have. I can help you believe in yourself to the point you say, wow, I could do that too. I could actually be a leader of leaders. Because that's a lot of confidence building. So those are the, the basic summary, the five skills or things you have to do to become kind of a fully equipped leader. And we don't all have all five of those things.